Hello and happy Halloween on this October 31st edition of ASU TV News. I'm Kirsten May. And I'm Austin Heislip. Today, of course, is time to dress up in your best costume. But one scary figure has been getting a lot of attention for months. Creepy clowns. Exactly. So I found out if those sightings reported across the nation might be impacting sales at a local costume shop in Jonesboro. You know, I almost said no, I wouldn't be a clown if my life depended on it because I don't want to get shot or arrested. Golden Grotto manager Anthony Evelyn says the increased attention to creepy clowns over the past few months has not been good for costume sales. Last year we sold all of them. This year we sold a few. I don't know if it's because of the ban of all the schools. And it's that ban on certain costumes, including clowns, that is frustrating to some parents. Amber Sell says buying costumes for her two sons who love scary movies is a little bit harder this year. He was kind of upset because he doesn't get to be the clown because he can't wear it to school. And there's been messages put out all over Facebook and social media saying that if you're dressed up like a clown, you'll get arrested. So we don't know which parts are real, which ones aren't, so we're just not going to test it. Sell's sons are in elementary and junior high in the Jonesboro School District. She says a note sent home said masks and fake weapons were not allowed, which she understands but she does not like the school restricting the type of costume a child can wear. It's like a parent's got to spend $100 a kid just to get them what they want for school and after school. Sells also said she believes most of the reported clown sightings aren't real, just something to get attention on social media. In the end, Evelyn says the store will do fine this Halloween regardless of how many clown costumes stay on the shelf. No, no, no. We don't depend on just clowns. Kirsten May, ASU TV News.